a very good morning to one all present here today as a part of uh, lecture series i am going to present a topic on electronic fund transfer on the subject financial markets and service which is the elective core paper in the our third semester so what is uh, electronic fund transfer so if you look under this picture see if we guess like some mr a and uh, b is uh, involved with some transactions so here another term x bank and y bank so x bank is processing and y bank is in verification that is receiving the money so if you look into this picture we can guess that some online transaction is happening so with this uh, what is the topic for today so today we are going to see the topic electronic fund transfer so what is electronic fund transfer it involves the movement of money from a one bank to another bank so uh, it is very clear that uh, when we look the picture of guess the topic itself we can see the like for the parties mr a and mr b is involved then the x and y bank is involved so transfer takes place independently without involvement of any bank employees so we need not uh, uh, go uh, to the bank uh, to the direct we need not go to the bank directly or we need not uh, have to waste our time we can be at anywhere any place and we can with the help of the uh, credentials that the online credentials uh, we can able to transfer the amount from any uh, 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 any place to in, we can be from any place we can transfer to the person to the person which is we, we which is already in we are from any other place so digital transaction does not requires in heaps of documentation so documentation like for example checks or slips or uh, pay and slip as nothing is involved in the electronic fund transfer so what are the types of uh, electronic fund transfer we have neft and rtgs imps and upi we know upi it is unified payment interface and uh, uh, and imps we know that immediate uh, mobile payment service today's class we are going to see about the neft and rtgs what is neft so neft it is in national electronic fund transfer if we abbreviate uh and this is the most commonly used online platform before uh, uh, the digitalization the cashless india we are about to transfer only through neft and rtgs so either through the uh, bank we can go and we can fill the form and uh, will make a transfer and later on uh, with the help of the internet credentials we can able to may do the same thing in the through online mode also so it is the transfer money from bank account to uh, one from the one bank account to the another so uh, for example usually this uh, for example if you are employee the salary transfers by companies are done through the using neft there is a no maximum limit but it depends upon the bank individual banks and the cost involved is it is varies from the uh, like uh, for example if uh, uh, if we if up to the 50000 there is a no transaction uh, cost is involved but in certain banks or private banks the cost is involved and it varies from the bank to bank and varies to the amount we are transferred so what are the requirements we need the recipient's name so suppose if i am transferring an amount uh, i need the sender's name the sender is called as a recipient and recipient's bank name and of course the recipient's account number the 16 digit account number and the ifs that is ifs code is also uh necessary of the recipient's bank that is the beneficiary the recipient is also known as the beneficiary and the second we we have come across the four types of eft and the second type it is like rtgs so rtgs it is all about the real time gross settlement this is also a, a method where the uh, transfer can be made through the online mode also but the the major difference between the neft and rtgs is like uh, for the neft there is a no transaction limit per day for but uh, but the uh, but there is for the rtgs we have the maximum uh, minimum limit of rupees 2 lakhs so for the neft we can transfer any amount like for example 10000 15000 the maximum limit per but with concern to the rtgs it is the minimum uh, uh, minimum balance minimum amount transfer should be 2 lakh the reason is like many people will have the business transactions and uh, the uh, so if there is if it is a bulk transactions we can go to the rtgs 
so it it costs a little more than neft because see here the transaction limit itself it's a two lakhs so it will last cost you more than thirty rupees thirty for transaction up to five lakhs but it varies from certain banks for example we have public sector banks and private sector banks so certain private sector banks will charge extra depending upon the transaction time and the transaction amount but as far as concerned with the public sector banks the maximum uh, uh, maximum transfer uh, limit is uh, uh, two lakhs. It is fixed, and the twenty-four hours within the twenty-four hours, uh, it is the maximum time where the amount will be transferred. So this is all about uh, today's class, and uh, see like uh, the RTGS. So here the two lakhs is limit gross settlement, and here the minimum no minimum limit. And the net settlement and the it takes two hours. For example, it takes two hours, but the RTGS is concerned. It is a immediate settlement, so real time gross settlement.